digestive system. Today we are going to learn about our digestive system. Do you know what happens to the food we eat and where does it go? Let us see. To run a car, we put petrol or diesel. The petrol or diesel that goes into the car gives energy to run. The same way our body needs energy to work. In car, this energy comes from petrol. Where does our body get energy? It gets energy from food and oxygen. We eat food that gives us energy to grow and work. Is the food we eat directly gives us energy? Or is it processed? The food we eat is made of big particles. It needs to be broken down into small and simple substances. So that our body can mix the food. This process is called digestion. The digestive system converts the food into nutrition so that it can be used by each and every part of the body. It is also responsible for removing solid waste. Now let us look how petrol is used to generate energy in car. The petrol from the bank comes through the pipe, then it enters into the petrol tank. The petrol tank is the stomach where the petrol is stored until used by the engine. When the car starts, the petrol from the tank goes through the small pipe to the engine, gets converted into energy. This energy is used to run the car. Finally, the waste comes to the large exhaust pipe at the back of the car, smelling stinky. Same way in human body too. The food goes through the food pipe to the stomach, then it goes to the very long tube which is called small intestine. And then to the another tube called large industry. The waste is finally passed out of the body as too. Have you ever heard the traveling noise in the stomach? experience that right but what makes a stomach growl when you hear noise from the stomach we know it has been too long since we had eaten anything it means that we are hungry who oh, what is this it's yummy pizza. Shall we eat the pizza? Hey, let's eat the pizza. How do we get energy from the pizza? By now, you know what digestion is. 
It is the process by which big and complex food particles are broken down into small and simple substances so that our body can use the food. This process of digestion is not simple. The food has to pass many organs of our body. During this travel, the food gets absorbed in various organs. And finally, the waste and undigested food will be removed out of the body. Now let us see the journey of the pizza to the body. The journey of the pizza is not easy. It's a difficult journey that costs long distance and can take several minutes. Pizza enters into the mouth are big and huge particles. So the teeth grinds the food particles into small pieces. The saliva makes the food soft. It makes the food journey fast and quick. The small particles slide the food part and enters into the stomach. When more food enters into the stomach, it becomes full. The stomach starts at birth. It makes the food with the nice digestive juice. It will cool the germs in the food. Then the food gets mixed and grinded by the stomach. The stomach turns the food into very smaller particles. Slowly, the digested food enters the small intestines, bits and bites. Smaller intestine absorbs the digested food so that the blood will carry it to all the parts of the body. The journey is not over yet. The remaining food moves to the large intestine. The large intestine absorbs most of the water as it moves along the tube. And it's full now. It cannot carry now. It's time now to send it out. Oh, the journey is about to end. The waste explodes out of the body. The journey of pizza is over. Now the stomach will feel so light. Starting from the mouth to the food pipe, the stomach to small intestine. And to large intestine and then out of the body. Now tell me the main organs involved in the digestion process. Mouth, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and anus. This is called the process of digestion.